Welcome back to the channel. Stoked to see you in this video. I'm going to show you what may be the number one mistake that people make when they're putting up their ridge lines to set up a tarp shelter. Coming up. This is a mistake that I have made in the past and I have seen dozens of people make the same mistake and i'm looking forward to seeing if you have made it in the past if you have leave a comment down below man this is how we become gooder out here in the woods is by learning from each other and the experiences that others have had so that we don't have to make those same mistakes now people love 550 cord i love paracord as well i use it all the time in this case i have about a 30 foot run of paracord and then i got a, a little uh two things of dead gum bank line at the end to help keep this tight this uh, configuration nice and tight but one of the things that i think that we've done in the past is think that as i'm setting up a ridge line as i'm setting up a shelter i need to work on getting this ridge line as tight as i can and that can lead to a huge and critical potentially catastrophic mistake let's go ahead and show you that mistake and then i'll show you why you don't have to worry about it at all on the front end and what you can do to help mitigate all of these risks on the back end. All right, so what we got here is we got uh, the ridge line secured on one end using a doggle. And then what oftentimes I'll do is I'll just put in a, uh, a Marlin spike hitch and then bring my 550 cord through, right? And now I can, I can tighten it up. And like, again, this is about as tight as it was. You know, you can see it, it's, it's super loose. But what I see dudes do a lot is they think this ridge line has to be extremely tight. So they'll, they'll crank down on it. You can see, man, this is tight F, right? That's crazy tight. But we don't need to get it this tight. Team A, we're wasting time, but B, more importantly, we're adding additional friction and heat onto the 550 cord, which is going to degrade it over time. And what I have seen happen in the past is as we get it this tight, this area right here is where we can have some catastrophic degradation, like completely falling apart and breaking your 550 cord. And now instead of a longer ridge line, you end up with a shorter piece that you may not even want to be able to trust to support you. Right, in case you have any doubts or questions that's in your mind, I'm gonna use a couple smaller pieces of Hank's uh, 550 cord to demonstrate this failure that can happen. Right, because we forget that paracord can cut paracord. Right, so now we have our marlin spike hitch and we bring our paracord through. Now we're ready to draw some tension on this thing. And as you can see, with enough friction, with enough tension, that paracord cuts right through it. Absolutely catastrophic. I'm gonna show you why you don't have to worry about this in the first place and some different techniques and principles that you can do to help make sure that you can get the whole thing nice and tight without ruining your 550 cord. See how loose that is, man? That's, that's perfectly fine, because watch what's gonna happen.
So now we come back and we look. And she's tight as a daggum bass string. Let's go check the other side. And of course you're gonna, and of course you're gonna see in the middle, she's got a little slack. All kinds of slack there, right? But you know what? It don't matter because the tarp is tight. It's not going anywhere. You're gonna be safe and secure underneath this thing, and that's okay. Because on this side. She's tight as well. All right, team, there you go, man. One easy mistake that we can all avoid making when we're out here in the woods is setting up a tarp shelter. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Maybe some other mistakes that we need to talk about. I don't care. I want to hear from you. You have a lot of experience just like I do, and I think that we can learn from each other. I appreciate all you guys, man. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.